Hey guys, welcome to Core Bike Show. This is the UK trade show. We're going to go in and have a look, see what's there that might interest you, and get it on film. Let me tell you a story. Yes, this is our Arix crank. Uh, it's designed for sort of road and gravel. Um, a little bit different to what you might have seen before, so uh, it's all aluminium, so we start off with a big uh, piece of aluminium. Uh, this is machined in the first operation and we cut this big groove out here and there's a, there's a bit of a gap around the side, so then when you get your centrepiece, which is also machined, that slots in there. And then we use a super strong adhesive which squirts in the holes and comes out the other side so you know you get a really good bond. Um, goes back in the machine then, back in the big CNC and then it comes out with something like this. So you probably lose about 60% of the material, something like that. But then it creates a really strong and lightweight aluminium crank made in our factory in Barn Oswick. Okay, here we've got the brand new Kinesis Rise e-trail hardtail. So it's a Fazua driven 29er. A British hardtail with progressive geometry. We've got good quality mountain bike components on there, stuff that will last you for seasons of mountain biking. You can do everything from cross country to technical downhills on it. You can get everyone on it, have a lot of fun. Um, so some specifics of the Fazua motor. It pops out just here. That's your motor and battery. That's 2.8 kilos. It's one of the lightest systems around. So. What that means is it's a bike that's very manoeuvrable, very playful, rides like a normal bike. It's a very natural feeling uh, motor system. The battery actually comes out. Um, you can carry a spare. Spares are readily available, so you can keep one in your car or in your backpack. Um, double your range, only ever carry as much as you need. And the other cool thing is you can run a blanking plate there and ride it as a normal bike. So we've got um, a size by reach system, so instead of your small, medium, large, extra large, we've got L1, L2, L3 and L4. So a lot of riders now have a reach in mind when they're picking a bike. A lot of people like to go a bit longer, so we, um, we provide the reach numbers and we let you size according to what you want. We've kept the seat tubes nice and small, so if you do want to size up one or two sizes even, you've still got uh, a small enough seat tube to get your saddle in the right position. We've given them all really long dropper posts, so on the L1 we've got a 150 and a 170 on all the other ones, so it, it kind of signifies the intent of this bike, it's, it's, a, it's a really capable hardtail. So one thing I should say, it's 130mm travel, as I said it's 29 inch wheels, we've got 2.5 inch tyres on there with proper Maxxis rubber, um, head tube angle 66 and a half, we've got a reduced offset fork, 44mm offset, which meant that we haven't had to go super slack on the head angle, which means it's uh, nice trail manners when you're not riding the really steep stuff. Um, Reach-wise, we're looking um, so between 420 and uh, 510 between the sizes. Um, as I said, seat tube's nice and small, long dropper post, 440 chain stays on all of them, um, top tube mounted remote on the Fazua, so no clunky bar remotes, nice wide bars, 800mm bars, 50mm stem, just everything you want on a nice, proper E hardtail. Uh, so this is the all new Gambler Tuned, which is brand new bike design for the year 2020. Uh, moving away from the old design that was famous with the free ride guys, uh, and obviously people like Brendan racing at the World Cup. This is our full carbon downhill bike. It's the first time the brand's produced a full carbon build uh, in the downhill category. The key theme really is adaptability lightweight and all out speed so you can run either wheel size there's a chip for progressivity so you can run a more progressive or a less progressive shock setup uh, you can run a higher or a lower bottom bracket uh, with a four position chip that we uh, we run around the shock that's all independent to wheel size so any setting can be run in either 27 or 29 inch um, it's obviously featuring Syncross components with the new Comox saddle, uh, the all-in-one handlebar which is pretty flashy, everyone likes to look at that one. Yeah, out and out race weapon and you'll see it on the World Cup circuit this year 
it was tested by the team last year and we had some pretty impressive results with Marine Cabrou, uh, Brendan, Dean and Flo. So look forward to more of that this year. Okay, so this is the full nine from Belt Helmets. Uh, top of the range, full face helmet for all gravity riding, downhill racing. Uh, it has a lot of really great safety features in the helmet. But one of the things that sets this helmet apart from a normal full face helmet is that it also has a lot of features for after the crash. And while many helmets will keep you safe during an impact, it's what happens after the impact that can really make the difference to a rider and their injuries. So after the impact, if you are in a situation where a paramedic needs to help you, one of the unique features about this helmet are the magnetic removable cheek pads. What that means is a paramedic, if you're immobilized on the floor, can easily remove the cheek pad while the helmet's on your head. And with them removed, he can take the helmet off your head, putting as little stress on your neck or vertebrae as possible. So it's a really neat feature for after the accident, not just in the accident. Another feature, another feature uh, to help paramedics in the event of an accident is the eject system. This comes from the motocross world. And in the top of the helmet is a little cavity where you can insert uh, an eject system. You then have a valve in the back of the helmet. And if you're in an accident and you're immobilized and the paramedic needs to get your helmet off of your head without injuring your neck, they can put a CO2 canister on the back of the helmet and it's inflate the balloon and push the helmet off your head. So a great helmet for the impact, but also some really special features to help you after the impact in the event that you're injured. Hi, I'm uh, James from WGB and uh, new this week we have our latest gravel tire. So uh, we've had the Riddler out for a few years, really popular gravel tire, fast rolling, decent side knobs on it, but people were just asking for something in 700, a little bit more uh, off-road, a bit more, bit more rad. So we came out with a Radler. Um, you can see bigger spacing in the side knobs, bigger side knobs too, um, nice tack, uh, tight pack centre for a nice fast rolling and it comes in a 40 and a 44 width so should fit a lot of frames. Hi right, folks, Kenny from Gus Components here. So just a quick little few things that we've done with Gus this year. Um, we're upgrading to have the oil slick clamps. You'll see these in April coming on the super soft grips. The S2 grip is our own design and things like that. Lots of kind of textures and play for it. These grips will be the best grips you ever have. They're 1690 Amy retail and multi award winning in many a colour. So to complement the range also with the S2, we do the small saddle, which is getting ever popular with the trail riders and the normal trail saddle. Um, this comes in carbon or chromoly railed and then obviously the, the dirt jump on. Something that's quite interesting and quite cool with us as well is the oil slick chain. I don't know if you'll see it well in this light. We do it in 9, 10 and 11 speed, single speed and a half length. Um, retail price is around 40 to 60 pounds. Um, that is the highlights of the Gusset range this year. Um, look at gussetcomponents.com and you'll see everything and give us a shout. All right, so we've got the, the new quick shift goggle from Julbo. Um, it's brand new for 2020. Um, the big innovation for this year is removable dropout sections from the base of the goggle. Uh, it means you're always super ventilated, never overheating, and can ride all day whether you're wearing a full face helmet or an open face helmet. Um, the bottom sections can drop easily back in with a couple of little magnets and some little locators. Pop them on that side and then back in, which means in really bad wet and cold conditions you've still got a full goggle protection. Um, nice minimal frame, cylindrical style lens and uh, yeah, it comes with a clear lens for £95. Um, just a super innovative goggle for this year from us. Alright, so we've got the, uh, the new Cane Creek Vault Progressive Spring. So it's a new coil from Cane Creek which basically lets you run a coil shock on a bike that might normally, normally be uh, designed for it. So some bikes are designed around air shocks. They may not be compatible with normal coils because of the linear progressive sort of li uh, leverage ratio. So with the new uh, Vault Progressive Spring, you can use those on your, uh, on your standard trail or enduro bike. So we've got this new helmet here from Abus, or Abus, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, pretty funky looking, unusual, very unusual peak because it's almost a little bit translucent. But the interesting feature about this is it's got this chip in the back which basically it's like a GPS and it links with your phone and some other helmets have done this before where if you crash it will notify whoever you select on your phone, next of kin, whatever, 
but this has like a dual notification so it links with your phone so your phone will know if you've crashed because you'll have that sudden stop from like 15 mile an hour to nothing and if both of them linked if they realize that you've crashed then that signal will be sent out and it also will store the information how many times you've crashed and at what speed so doctors etc who have the reading equipment necessary can sort of find out what happened um, and that's it from ABUS. Hi, I'm Leon, uh, the form brand manager. I'm um, just going to show you the, uh, the Black Rocks full suspension bikes we're just launching here at Core. So we've got two models, we've got the Black Rocks uh, FS1 and Black Rocks FS2. They're 170 mil travel, 27.5 um, inch wheels, uh, one with an air shock, one with a coil shock. Um, it's running on like a four bar horse link um, with a 170 mil dropper, uh, enduro casing tyres, uh, SRAM GX group set and SRAM SX group set on the FS2. Uh, they're sort of out and out enduro UK Pacific bikes, um, nice extra long reach, um, sort of modern long and low geometry. Uh, yeah, they're going to be available in April. That's it, that's our day at CORE, had a really good day, found some of the stuff pretty interesting, hopefully you will find it interesting too. Check out the description for any of the links for our affiliates where you can buy our components at a cheaper rate, also all our sponsors, their websites and our website for any of our merchandise. Thanks for watching, keep it pinned.